Laura here for MTV News. I'm very excited. I'm joined by the two stars of Fast and Furious 6, Paul Walker and Jordana Brewster. Welcome. Thank you. Yep. Um, I suppose everything these days on Twitter, everything has to be condensed to 140 characters. Can you condense this movie into two sentences? That's quite hard to do, but try and sum it up in two sentences. Why MTV viewers should go and see it. It's massively huge action that's completely nonstop. That's really good. That was like one sentence. You have this down. I love it. I like that swing. That was a good swing. This movie isn't just about, you know, them bringing up the kid, lovely, relaxing, it's somewhat would be the different. most boring Fast and Furious ever. So no, they, they, they do, um, they, there's a change of scene okay. very quickly. Um, Paul, when, when you first signed up for the first one, which was back in like 99, 2000, um, did you think you'd be sitting here in 2013 talking about number six? No, not a chance. No screenplay, nothing when I signed on. It was just an idea. Yeah. And it was funny because uh, I wanted to do it, you know, working with my friends because I'd already worked with these people before. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you can't do it. My representatives are telling me, you can't do it. There's That's no script. Really there's funny. nothing. And then you didn't listen to their advice. You're uh, right. I uh, got lucky. But yeah. it was just, you know, following your heart kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't even about uh, down the road. It was about living in the moment and got lucky. It's the type of movie I suppose that you'd want to watch and be a part of. It's always the best movies to go for. Yeah, maybe. But then once you're in it, you ruin it. You don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> you don't see it. Are you a fan of the movies? Do you think you'd go to the cinema and watch them? Are you into your fast cars and action? I'm really into action. I love anything with Angelina Jolie in it where she's kicking ass. And yeah. in this movie, specifically, we have three girls that are really, really badass. So yeah. that's really fun to watch. Some good girl fighting going on as well. A huge girl fight. Yeah. And it's like it's like a relentless girl fight. Yeah, uh, when you think it's over, it just keeps going. So and it was really, that one was hardcore. You weren't involved in that particular one. I was not involved. Yeah. I was in Tenerife with the You're baby. In Tenerife. <laughs> I was chilling they, with they the baby. They knew not to invite her into that one because she would have just kicked her. <laughs> you, you didn't even have to try because you know you were going to win. Yeah. You were the best. I interview a lot of musicians, a lot of rock bands. And I'm always quite jealous of this whole, then they go on tour, they get to travel all around the world, they seem to have a great life. I kind of feel like Fast and Furious is like that because it's like you guys are on tour, you get to go to all these amazing cities and you're with the same group of people. Is it like a band on the road? Is it kind of, do you feel like you're on a massive tour? Well, kind of like a traveling circus, I think. <laughs> but we get yeah. to go to the most amazing exotic places. I mean, it was Brazil and Puerto Rico and London. And it's a dysfunctional band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Dysfunctional. Yeah. Most bands are. No, it's, it's fun. You know, we've had our challenges. We've grown up together, mm -hmm. literally. And so, you know, we've been through our highs and our lows. And, you know, just I think we all, the guys anyways, we've all just about knocked one another out at least two or three times each. But we all still got our teeth. That's and uh, yeah, I know we're good, but uh, no, it's it's been a ride, you know. And I consider all these guys like my brothers, and mm -hmm. you know, Jordana and I, we get along really well, so mm -hmm. it's been good. Because you guys have known each other so long, and I suppose you saying back on set, it's great to see everyone again. Is there a lot of kind of messing about, pranking each other? Is it hard to get work done, or is there giggles? It's it's hard to wrangle us sometimes. Okay. Yesterday we were trying to get every. It was. Yes, like six of us together and Tyrese just kept cracking jokes and everyone was like, okay, you know, everyone straighten up. We've got to do an interview. So um, we do have a lot of fun together and, and we do have to get serious every once in a while. Speaking there of Tyrese, Ludacris is also in the movie. Um, two amazing musicians. Is there a lot of music going on on set? Or are they kind of trying out new music or rapping or is it just pure Reese acting? is always singing. Yeah. Reese sings Ludacris a lot. keeps it under wraps. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is Chris is much more chill okay. than Reese is for sure. He's like constantly singing. Like, do you kind of got like please just like quiet. harmonizing? Like oh. Reese, <laughs> really? Reese is like everybody's little brother that you just want to be able to hit the off switch on, but oh, okay. you just can't find and it. You can't find it. Is he kind of the? I'm not gonna say most annoying, but maybe the most annoying on set. Most vocal. Most vocal. Yeah, but he's the most fun at the same time. Yeah, so it's is. like you know, whenever he's around, there's like there's so much more energy, and it's yeah. like. There are times where you're like, really? Energy today? Not so much. It's quite but, uh, time now, Terry. But he, always, he always rubs it up, man. I, I love having that guy around. What was the most fun scene to shoot in this movie for both of you? Because you're in different scenes together. I don't know. I think the stuff that we did on the tarmac was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. You know? Some big scenes. Just some big pulling up scenes. to that set and realizing how huge it was. I mean, that was unprecedented. For me, I'd never seen a set piece that big. Yeah. Um, and, and I'd been on a train, I'd been on the plane, but the whole 
I mean, it was just massive. So that was really exciting. The thing that's cool about Jordana is you look at her and you're like, oh, she's elegant. She's this pretty lady and all this stuff. But whenever there's a chance to mix it up, she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she gets so excited. Yeah, yeah stunts were really fun. The Rock has been tweeting some... You guys you guys are tweeters. I've seen you on Twitter. Um, the Rock has been tweeting some crazy pictures of different food that he's eating. Just big meals. That man seems to eat... I saw the pizzas and like... The, I mean, it, there were like healthy. five pizzas in a row. I think he has one cheat day and that's when he like gorges and shows everyone and what he eats, which is really funny. It's because there's a lot of fitness going on. There's a lot of big men. It, what's it like on set with food? And is there like chicken being eaten every two no, hours? There are or? a lot of protein shakes. Okay. A lot of guys walking around with their protein shakes. Yeah. No, and Dwayne, Dwayne always has his like ready to eat meals going. He's very he methodical. Always, about... He almost always has a tray of food in his hand. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's like a bunch of like five chicken breasts, just not and not an appetizing amount, like, but that's what it chicken. takes. It's like you'd imagine with him. Yeah, you know, he's exactly he's that. he's a machine. Big fan of Rita Ora here, who's a big musician. She makes her debut in this movie. Um it's not in any of the scenes you guys are in, um, but she's doing really well for herself over here. Is she the one who who she's starts the, one, yeah. the she was so good yeah. and she had so much attitude and I loved her beautiful red lipstick and her white hair. Her like white she yellow hair. She's really well. such good style. To give a little bit of a spoiler here, but Jason Statham makes a little kind of appearance at the very end, and we love him. He's a you know he's a proper hardcore Brit. Um, does it look if if you guys get asked? I know you haven't signed anything yet. Will you be around for number seven? Yeah, I want to play again. It's yeah. so much fun, yeah. and I love the people I'm working with. So absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I want to teach our baby how to drive. That's right. We're gonna have him strapped in the baby seat. You or know, you're, or right you're carrying the him, room, the baby Bjorn, and helping and him. jumping around. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. So yeah. I think we're going to do it again. Um, finally, what's next for you guys? What are you guys up to? Obviously, you're in London now promoting the movie. Um, what's next for you, Jordana? Um, I'm going to start shooting a movie called North of Hell with Patrick Wilson and Catherine Heigl. And then um, Dallas season three is also coming up. How soon. are you enjoying Dallas? It's because I suppose it's always scary bringing back something that... It is. There was a lot of pressure. But yeah. the fact that the original cast members were coming on with us it took away a lot of that pressure for us. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Doing great. Paul, what's next for you? Um, I'm working on an action movie right now. Um, called Brick Mansions, mm -hmm. running around doing parkour. And Do you not get tires? Out. It's so much action. Uh, it's, it's fun. Yeah. And then uh, doing Hitman again, mm -hmm. um, which uh, it's going to be it's gonna be really cool this time around. So I'm excited to get in there. And right now we're just figuring out how we're going to make it uh, make it awesome. Make it so, awesome. I'm yeah. sure you'll make it awesome, no problem at all. Well, guys, thank you so much, Jordana thank and you. Paul. Thank you. It's MTV News.